Welcome, Minister. Yesterday morning, Minister, a fellow Liberal MP of yours from Quebec, Joel Lightbound, held a press conference during which he said, and I quote, I believe the government should provide quickly a roadmap with clear and measurable targets to lift all restrictions within its purview. Conservatives have been saying the same thing for months. He said about the vaccine requirement for truckers, and I quote, this is a policy that now goes against the World Health Organization's recommendation and for which no studies and projections have been required, provided. Today, Liberal MP Robillard echoed Mr. Lightbound's comments, saying many of his colleagues agreed. Minister, he says you aren't being responsive enough to adapt to the changing reality of the pandemic. Will you listen, Minister, finally listen to this advice and change course? Minister Duclos. Well, Thank you very much, and I'd like to thank uh, the Honourable Senator for his uh, very important question. And I would say that responsive, as he mentioned, is the right word, and that's why we had to be, and we have been responsive for the last 22 months. I think responsive and responsible have been key objectives to describe what the government of Canada had to do and was able to do with the collaboration of many partners and, and, uh, and leaders across Canada, including scientists and experts whose input has been key in guiding us through this very difficult uh, circumstance. May I remind everyone that this is the biggest health crisis in over a century. It's also the biggest economic crisis. Or we used to be the biggest economic crisis since the crisis of the 1930s. We've gone through that crisis quite successfully relative to many other countries. If I have a moment in a second, I'll be able to say more. Sarah Platt. Minister, yesterday your colleague, MP Lightbound, said, and I quote, it's time to stop dividing Canadians, to stop pitting one part of the population against another. I can't help but notice with regret that both tone and policies of my government changed drastically on the eve and during the last election campaign. From a positive and unifying approach, a decision was made to wedge, to divide, and to stigmatize your colleague. Minister, your own Liberal colleague said the Trudeau government's politicization of the pandemic risks undermining the public's trust in public health institutions. He said this is not a risk we ought to be taking lightly. There is a difference between being responsive and being responsible, Minister. Will your government be responsible, and especially the Prime Minister, be responsible? and stop driving wedges between Canadians? Will you work to unite us instead of dividing and demonizing Canadians? Minister Duclos. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And uh, I, yes, I do know, I think I do know the difference between responsive and responsible, and we've had to do the two things at the same time. Responsive to the evolution of science, responsive to the change in the economic circumstances, which uh, we have done quite well. Let's, let me uh, briefly mention that in Canada, compared to many other countries in the world, certainly compared to our southern neighbor, we have done much better in terms of economic growth, in terms of jobs. We have uh, surpassed, we have recuperated all of the jobs uh, lost during the pandemic. The United States uh, still has uh, a significant deficit in that respect. We also understand that there is much fatigue, including among, among, among members of parliament. Myself, I receive every day tons of messages and calls of people who are tired with the, uh, with the, uh, the situation. However, we are united. Canadians have never been more united. 91% now of adults have been vaccinated. 91% of Canadians have made the right choice, which is to protect themselves and to protect those they love by by being vaccinated. We know that vaccination is the key to exiting from this crisis. And that's why we're so proud of the work of healthcare workers, and so grateful for that work, and so proud of the efforts that Canadians have made going through this crisis in, in uh, support of each other.